Offset accounts and redraw. What are these? What are the differences? And which should I be using for my home loan? Hi everyone, and welcome back to the It's Simple Finance YouTube channel. If you haven't met me already, my name is Joseph Delwood. I'm an economist, I'm a mathematician, I'm a mortgage broker, the founder of It's Simple Finance, and the curator of Home Loan University. Today's video is very simple. I'm going to be, number one, defining what an offset account is, number two, defining what a redraw facility is, and number three, which is most suitable for you. Now, the last option might sound like it goes against my disclaimer of always remember the advice on this channel is general in nature and seek professional advice for your particular situation. However, with offset and redraw, they do come with very, very specific features. So this is the reason why I wanna define which one's best for which account. Oh, and as always, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Without further ado, here's our video on redraw and offset. Redraw facilities and offset accounts have many similarities, but there's some important differences too. Let's break this down. The similarities. Both offset accounts and redraw facilities allow you to reduce the amount of interest you pay on your home loan, they can help you pay off your loan earlier, and are generally available on most standard variable loans. That's pretty much where the similarities of the two come to an end. An offset account is a separate deposit account that is attached to your home loan. You can deposit your salary and your savings into the account and the balance is that offset against the amount owing on your home loan. Say you have a home loan of $250,000 at $30,000 in your offset account. In this situation, you're only going to be charged interest on the loan balance of $220,000 because $250,000 minus $30,000 equals $220,000. Because the offset account acts like an everyday account, your $30,000 is still accessible whenever you need it, even while it's working to reduce your overall interest repayments. The advantages of an offset account essentially depend on how much money you have sitting in it and the type of offset you have. So you can have 100% offset accounts or 50% offset accounts, depending on how your bank set this up for you. In contrast, a redraw facility is a feature which lets you withdraw any additional repayments you've already made towards your home loan. It differs from an offset account in that it's not a separate bank account at all, but a feature which sits inside your home loan. A redraw facility doesn't allow you to access any money that was made as a minimum repayment. So you'll normally only be able to redraw funds that you contributed more than your minimum repayments. It's also worth noting that unlike an offset account, which typically offers near instant access to your funds, a redraw facility may not have the same day withdrawal. However, this has changed over the last decade as internet banking has become more prevalent. So which one is best for you? Well, it really does depend on what you want more. A mortgage offset account reduces the home loan interest you pay based on the balance of the account, but it also leaves you with day-to-day -day access to the funds in the account. A mortgage offset account may therefore be more well-suited to homeowners who want to minimize the interest owing on their repayments without necessarily paying extra of their principal. However, this also means the borrower with an offset account who did not make any extra repayments may take longer to repay their home loan overall than someone making regular extra repayments into a redraw facility. You might select redraw because paying off the loan faster involves making extra repayments towards your home loan. And that facility will allow you to reduce the total balance of your home loan rather than just reducing the amount of interest you might pay. So a redraw facility might actually pay off your loan sooner than what an offset account will because of the way that they're actually structured. So think about it like this. Redraw is best for people looking to pay off their loan sooner, but offset is for those that want access to the funds and possibly leaving that facility open. Sometimes you don't wanna close off a home loan. Sometimes you wanna keep it there because you might have some extra income or you might have an extra line of credit that allows you to take that money and reinvest it afterwards. Many people will know getting a home loan is hard. So leaving that facility open allows you to have that quick access to those extra funds. So that's a good thing about the offset. And the negative thing about a redraw is that it's generally not as flexible as the offset account in terms of how long it takes to be able to withdraw the money from it. However, making regular withdrawals could also increase the time it takes for you to pay off your loan in full. So this is something that you have to consider when opening an offset. Do I want the opportunity to withdraw more money or do I want to pay off my loan faster? And this brings us to our topic, what is more suitable for you? 
and it really depends on your situation and tax implications. So for those looking to maximize their tax benefit in investment properties, an offset account will be best as they can offset the interest accrued by depositing their savings and their income in their offset account and having it against their home loan. Please speak to an accountant before you go and do this. That is just general advice. But if you are just looking to pay off your owner occupied property, you don't get to claim the interest on your tax with owner occupied properties. You don't get to negative gear that. So for owner occupied properties, you might be better off using a basic account with a redraw facility as opposed to using an offset account with your home loan attached to it. Another reason why you might use offset instead of using a redraw is let's say you have a line of credit and you want to keep the facility open but also don't want to pay the high interest charges. I've got a $200,000 loan of credit and I've got an offset account attached to it. I can draw that 200,000 or I could deposit 200,000 into my offset account and that will not pay interest, not pay any principal so long as I have an interest only type loan and that will give me immediate access to about $400,000, making me a professional investor and giving me the opportunity to be able to invest in something quickly if I find something worth buying. When it comes to using redraw, however, as I said earlier, it's better to be used with unoccupied properties. Most banks will allow you almost immediate access to your redraw these days, and you have a savings or transaction account open with the same lender. If you just use a banking app, you can almost immediately transfer that redraw to your debit card. So it almost acts the same as an offset anyways, so long as you have money sitting in your redraw. This will also reduce your costs as most offset accounts cost about $250 per item, depending on which lender you use. The decision which is the best option, redraw or offset, will depend on what suits you and your financial situation best. So both help you save on interest repayments, but in slightly different ways. If you have a little extra disposable income to put towards your home loan, but still want plenty of flexibility, the offset's the best. But if you just wanna pay down your loan, the redraw is the best one for you. So you have to be really smart in what you want to choose, offset or redraw. And you have to be really smart in what you can manage better. This is why it's always best to speak to a broker because they will be able to construct or set up your home loan the best possible way for you. And this is why it's also good to speak to an accountant to make sure that if you are gonna use an offset account, use it in the best way possible. And if you are gonna use redraw, use that in the best way possible too. So I wanna thank you all for watching our video on offset versus redraw. And I really hope that we have been able to break this down and make it very, very simple for you. If you feel like I've left anything out, please don't forget to drop a comment below as it really does help the channel grow. Don't forget to like, and subscribe, follow us on Instagram. And if you feel like I missed anything, shoot me an email too. As always, I've been Joe and I hope I've made offsets and redraws seriously simple.